Hey, good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a fabulous start to your day. I hope you guys have had your coffee, tea, whatever it is that you guys need to get up and moving in the morning. So our first song for today is a song from Falling in Reverse. It is called Alone. And I'm just going to name off a few of the people who have requested it. Um, Melissa, I believe, is Millahan. I hope. Um, Brian Damore or Damore. Um, and Becca Collins. There have been a few more, but that is just a start. So, obviously, a popular request, and we are just going to get into it. Let's go. This is falling in reverse alone. Let's get it. I'm sorry, this is driving me absolutely fucking nuts.
for falling in reverse. Nice. Wow, really? 2013, Ronnie? Damn, man. Okay, so besides all the technical bullshit that I had to deal with at the beginning of this video, which has absolutely nothing to do with falling in reverse and everything to do with the fact that I have been away for well over a month and my equipment has, it's actually shown it that I haven't been taking care. Anyway, <clears throat> I love this song. Why do I love this song so much? I love it and I can see why it's heavily requested. It's got a lot of, a little bit of everything in it. I know that sounded like it made no sense, but it did make a lot of sense in my head and for anyone who was actually really paying attention. He's got some great distortion going on in this video. In fact, he probably sings more of his lyrics in the distortion than he does clean when he's not rapping because he's also doing a great deal of rapping in this. So I think it's like more like equal parts rapping and equal parts singing in this, which I haven't reacted to a song like that yet. The songs I've done so far, it's like he's either wrapped the intro or wrapped maybe a tiny bit of each verse, but hasn't done a ton of rapping and I haven't gone into his mixtapes yet. So I haven't done any of his actual rap songs yet, which I want to do. In this one, he does do quite a bit of rapping in. I think he's a phenomenal rapper and you guys already know how I feel about him as a singer. I think he has a fantastic voice. I don't think he gets enough credit for the voice he has. He has just a gorgeous, gorgeous everything. When he's in his mid-range, when he's belting, when he's in his falsetto, he just has a gorgeous, gorgeous voice. And I think it's completely underrated because of the type of music that he does. I don't think rock stars get enough credit. In fact, most metal singers, have phenomenal voices. I think you almost, it's almost like a prerequisite because if you're going to go out there, why does it look like these are, seems like everything's kind of fucked up on me today. I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, and I'm out of cigarettes on top of all that. I'm not really sure what's going on with me today. Anyway, this song, fantastic. I love that he uses a lot of distortion and he does it in a very healthy way. The way that you know this is because he can go from distortion right into clean and <clears throat> there's no residual like gruffness or tension on the voice. He does it beautifully. Again, I love his clean voice. So I love it when he goes into those, into those belts. The content I like as well. It's like, hey, shit talkers, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You say all this stuff, you go on Twitter, you talk shit, you do this, you do that, but you know what? Are you here doing what I'm doing now? I came back from whatever my troubles were. You know, I did this, I created this. So keep on talking your smack, keep on saying whatever it is you wanna say, but look, I'm here basically. And he made that in 2013. We are now in 2021 and he's still going strong. So basically that's what I have to say to any of the naysayers of Ronnie Radke or Falling in Reverse. I love the song. I love the premise of the song. I love the fact that he shows off all of his talents in this song. And I also like it because the video, while it's probably the least produced I've seen of all his videos, it's very simple. I mean, you have the car, you have the plane hanger. It's basically staged and shot in the hangar. I like that. I like that it's stripped down. All his other videos have been very, and I, and I like that he, they don't skimp on their videos, have been very produced, very, very stylized. This one I like for the opposite reason, that it's basically just him, the band, some simple shots, and it's about the music more than it is about the video and the one chick dancing around circles. Thank you guys for requesting it. 
I asked, had asked you guys which direction you guys wanted me to go in next, and many of you said alone. So I'm going to go back over and read back over the lyrics of this song because on one hand he's saying, fuck off to the shit talkers, and on the other, other hand he's saying, you know, I can't leave this town anyway because the one, he's a, one thing he's afraid of is being alone. I think I'm going to have to dive back into these lyrics. So I'm going to listen to the song again anyway, as I listen to all of his songs and really get into the meat and potatoes of the lyrics. And I'm sure you guys will go in and fill me in on what the, your interpretation of the lyrics are anyway. That's what I love about Ronnie's fans and Falling in Reverse fans is you guys always know the story and tell me the story and you guys aren't assholes about it. <laughs> Trust me, some fans are. So, um, yes, please fill me in. Um, I've missed you guys. Uh, I love you guys. And you guys have a fantastic day. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe if you have not already. And as always, guys, please take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.